Bella's Pizza Pie by Diana Murray, art by Zachariah O'Hara. Bella stretched the pizza dough and tossed it with a spin. When Hedgehog peeked inside the door, she told him, come on in. Bella spread the pizza sauce and layered on the cheese. When Badger stopped to wave hello, she said, come join us, please. Bella baked the pizza pie, then Mole knocked on the door. Come and join us, Bella said. There's plenty here for four. Bella sat the pizza down and sprinkled it with spice. She split it once, she split it twice, and each friend had a slice. Harvest Soup by Marianne Mitchell. Art by Julie Fortenberry. Isabel helped Grandma harvest the garden. First, they picked tomatoes. Isabel said, Mmm, tomatoes. Next, they picked squash. Isabel said, Mmm, squash. Then they pulled up onions. Isabel said, Mmm, onions. Finally, they dug up potatoes. Isabel said, Mmm, potatoes. Grandma and Isabel filled a basket with the vegetables they harvested. Do you like soup? Asked Grandma. Isabel nodded. Yes, I like soup very much. Isabel helped Grandma wash the vegetables. Then they cut the vegetables and put them in a pot of water. Soon, the soup boiled and bubbled on the stove. When Mom came home, she asked, What's for dinner? Isabel said, We have soup. Mmm, said Mom. My favorite, harvest soup. Holiday Cookies by Marianne Mitchell. Art by Janie Trassler. I'm making cookies for our neighbors, said Mom. May I help you? Asked Lisa. Sure, said Mom. You can cut out the cookies. Lisa said, here are the stars. Here are the circles. Here are the bells. Mom put the cookies on baking sheets. Let's add sugar sprinkles, she said. I like these colors, said Lisa. She made blue stars, red circles, and yellow bells. When the cookies were done, Mom and Lisa took some to their neighbor, Mr. Robinson. Thank you, he said. Pizza by Don King. Art by Mary Sullivan. Pizza, pizza, pizza. We like it hot or cold. Pizza, pizza, pizza. For people young and old. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Give the dough a toss. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Now spread on the sauce. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Sprinkle lots of cheese. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Add pepperoni, please. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Have a slice or two. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Enough for me and you. The Thank You Pie by Mary Quattlebaum. Art by Amy Bates. This pumpkin pie looks awfully plain, said Mom. 
It should look special for Thanksgiving. Candles make a birthday cake look special, said Sarah. Let's add candles to the pie. When you light them, we can each say what we're thankful for. What a good idea, said Mom. So Danny and Sarah put four candles on the pie. When Mom lit the red candle, Dad said, I'm thankful for our family. I'm thankful for our home said Mom as she lit the orange candle. Mom lit the yellow candle, and Sarah said, I'm thankful for my friends. The green one's mine, said Danny. He stared at the tiny flame and then said, I'm thankful for our food, especially this thank you pie. Everybody took a big breath. Whoosh! They blew out all the candles and sang, Happy Thanksgiving to us! Bow wow! Barked Buddy. Danny laughed. I think Buddy wants us to eat. Mom cut the thank you pie, and even Buddy had a piece. Peas, peas, peas. Bye. Nancy K. Wallace. Art by Mike Brownlow. Peas in the saucepan. Peas in my bowl. Peas falling off my fork. Watch them as they roll. Peas on the table. Peas on the floor. Peas bouncing, green and round, rolling toward the door. Peas going out the door, peas down the steps, peas in the flower beds, where will they go next? Tumbling down the sidewalk, rolling in the street? Let's have mashed potatoes. Peas are hard to eat. Making the Pie Story and Art by Valerie Gorbachev All summer long, Bert, Beth, and Grandpa worked in their pumpkin patch. They pulled weeds and watered the plants. In the fall, they helped Grandpa pick the biggest pumpkin in the patch. Then they wheeled it to the house and got to work. It was time to make a pie. Bert stirred the spices into the pumpkin, and Beth rolled the pie crust. When the pie was ready, Grandpa put it into the oven. Grandpa, said Bert, may we invite our friends over to share our pie? Good idea, said Grandpa. Let's all have dinner together too. So Bert and Beth called their friends. When their friends arrived, Everybody sat down to eat. Then, after dinner, Grandpa served their homemade pumpkin pie. Delicious! Delicious! Cried all their friends. As everyone headed home, Beth cried, Next time, we'll make apple pie. At the Store By Marianne Mitchell Art by Carrie Pillow Rico and Dad were shopping for groceries. We need some fruit, said Dad. Rico said, I like bananas. He helped Dad pick out bananas. Let's look for some vegetables, said Dad. Rico reached for potatoes. He said, I like potatoes. Next, They went down the soup aisle. What's your favorite? Asked Dad. Rico said, tomato soup. At the dairy case, Dad asked, do we need anything from here? Rico pointed to a carton of milk. Milk. Anything else? Dad asked. Rico grinned. Ice cream. 
good idea, said Dad. We make a good team.